Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th, something like that. Yeah, so yeah, whenever, the, whenever, whenever it happens, it happens, right? Um, hmm. What do we have for a message today? Now keep in mind that every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for a message today? The fool reversed. So this is foolish behavior, right? It is reckless behavior. It's making a poor judgment call. There's fear. It's, there's fear. There's unprepared. So we got somebody here that has been unprepared. They may have made a poor judgment call. Queen of Cups reverse. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries. Uh, Queen of Cups reverse is a lack of love, right? There's a, this could be a loveless situation. Uh, not very caring. Not very kind. Not very gentle. Uh, hmm. The tower reverse. Somebody's been avoiding change. They've been trying to. You can't. You can't. But this is. They've been trying to. Fear has been in the way. Now the tower is an event. It is a fated event. There's. There could be a fight. Okay. The the tower could be a fight. Could be an accident that you never saw coming. The queen of cups reversed is is like heartbreaking. It could also be emotional manipulation with the queen of cups reversed. This is somebody that you know, is hypersensitive that may be drowning in their emotions. I mean, the Queen of Cups in reverse is somebody that could be clingy, needy, hyper, high maintenance, um, emotional, extremely, tower in reverse is extremes, emotional, extremely emotional. There could be an extremely emotional upset here. I mean, the Fool reversed is uh, making a poor, somebody has made a poor judgment call, right? Foolish, foolish behavior. They may, I mean, the full reverse is like being held back, being held back by fear, or being held back by emotional manipulation, right? Some sort of emotion. Somebody needs to master their emotions. You know, the full reversed and the tower are both about falls. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a fall. You know, there's there's a there could be a fallout. You know, somebody is fall. They're headed for a fall. Somebody is headed for a fall. That is exactly what this is. They have they've been in maybe they've been in some sort of fantasy. They've been in some sort of illusion with that Queen of Cups. Um, no. Queen of Swords reversed and the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, right? We all know it. it's happiness. It's an opportunity for happiness. It's an opportunity to have it all. Uh, so, but the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords in reverse, we talked about her yesterday. She may be causing some problems. She's very truthful. She's very authentic. She tells it like it is. But there is obviously there's like there's, somebody's getting something off their list. We got Santa Claus. It's like you're, this, this is like getting what you asked for, right? So anyway, the Queen of Swords. You know, the Queen of Swords in reverse. I'm gonna put it right here. Is grant? If I got somebody here that is going after wish fulfillment, Queen of Swords in reverse is uh, versus the Queen of Cups. Woo! I seen this one coming too. Ah, uh, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords in reverse is very hard to deal with. <laughs> extreme upheaval there's a choice there's a choice between two options here we have somebody here that is has an opportunity for wish fulfillment they do but they're dealing with two people uh, one is an illusion 
The other is hard to deal with because she speaks so much truth. She's so authentic. She's so truthful. It's hard to deal with that. It's intimidating. Extreme upheaval cannot be avoided. Somebody is going to be uh, going after their wish fulfillment. It's like their wish has been granted. Or, it's a, or it has been. It has been granted. But there's some sort of emotional upset here. There's some sort of revenge here as well. I feel like we have somebody here that is very, very revengeful. They're very vindictive. You know, we have vindictive energy here. Massive disruption that you never saw coming. We have somebody here that may be getting some news that another person has, well, that is chosen wish fulfillment. What the hell? The lovers, unexpected choice in love. Somebody is choosing. I knew they were. They this, they were choosing. Somebody is choosing another option. They are. They've been brought together with. This is a perfect match, right? This is a perfect union. It is a major choice. It is somebody with shared values, falling in love, commitment, soulmates, right? It's love, and it's right next to that tower in the Nine of Cups. So somebody has. Uh, I feel like it's already happened. They're already feeling the, this is a surprise. It's a shock. They never saw it coming. This is what they asked for. It's an unexpected choice. Choosing, you know, choosing to do something spontaneous. There's definitely some sort of competition here. It's a painful choice with that tower card right next to the lovers. The lovers is a choice. Somebody is making a painful choice between two people. They are, and they are choosing wish fulfillment. They're choosing happiness, but it's difficult. It's very, very, very difficult. It's a painful, painful, painful change. There could even be moving with that tower reverse, but there's been a lot of fear with that fool card reverse. We have somebody here that's been extremely scared, very fearful, making a poor, they've made, in the past, they've made a poor judgment call because the fool in reverse is in the past. This person is inexperienced, you know, they uh, have missed or they're missing an opportunity because the full reverse is missing an opportunity. There's some sort of intimidation here. We have, we have somebody that, I mean, the Queen of Swords in reverse can be somebody that has a really big heart but disguises her heart because she's been hurt so badly. And the Queen of Cups in reverse is somebody that may be closing their heart. You know, because it's in the opposite. So this person may not be giving the love freely. I mean, the Nine of Cups is a card of abundance. It really is. It's an abundance of love. And it's right next to the lovers. So there's a there's a choice. You know, there's a, always a choice. You can choose to be in that false sense of security, that false foundation, that false home. You know, or when the home can be a body, it can be a it's someplace that, you know, is a it's a structure. Okay, it's a false structure, which is the home, it's the business, it's the relationship, it's the body, whatever. You can choose to be false. You can choose to stay in the darkness. You can choose to pretend that everything is stable. Or you can choose wish fulfillment and happiness and build a foundation. I do believe that somebody's foundation is crumbling or they have made a choice to let it crumble to remove themselves from a false sense of security. Definitely a choice here.
major surprise. It is a surprise. It is definitely a surprise. Strength reverse, can't restrain, can't, can't restrain. Somebody can't restrain themselves. It's right next to the lovers. That's a lack of restraint. Can't, it's like you can't stop myself. Like there's no, there's no discipline. There's no willpower. You know, somebody can't stop themselves from the connection. They can't restrain themselves. There's too much desire, right? There's too much uh, pull towards this connection. There's too much. It's too much. There's, it, there's definitely a feeling of, I mean, you get strength and the lovers together, and but the strength is reversed. It's still lust, okay? It's like lust. It's a strong desire to be with this person that, you know, there's just too much feeling. There's too much electricity, you know? There's electricity with the tower. There's electricity in this connection. And there's, I mean, the nine of cups is yes. It's a wish fulfillment. This is this is it. You know, this is what you this is what you put on your list. This is on your list, right? This is what you put on your list. This is what you get. You know, somebody is making a choice. It's it's definitely de a life changing choice with the tower. They may be breaking free from a false sense of security, choosing. They can't stop themselves by the looks of things because it's such a deep connection. weak this connection makes them feel weak it does it makes them feel weak they can't it's like they can't stop they can't stop because the connection and not only is it weak i mean are they weak it's deep it's a deep it's a deep connection knight of pentacles so knight of pentacles is somebody that takes their time that plans that thinks things out takes a slow approach, tries to do the right thing, tries to act with integrity, does typically act it with integrity. This is like a planner. Somebody has been planning. They've been working hard. They are going to be building a new foundation. The Knight of Pentacles builds foundations through hard work, perseverance, and planning. There's a bend. Things are going to go slow. There's a need to be patient. Now, the Knight of Pentacles has the Ace of Pentacles in their hands, so taking a golden opportunity. Using common sense. Somebody is using their common sense after they have, maybe they've been stupid. I mean, the, in the past, the Fool Reverse is, I, I mean, I don't know you guys don't want to hear it, but the Fool in the past in Reverse is stupid. Okay, that's like stupid. Somebody may have been stupid, you know, they've been uh, too afraid, too afraid to take an opportunity. Maybe because of vindictive behavior, maybe because of chaos, you know, maybe because of the the chaos it, or the, uh, because it takes, it's going to take a lot of work to dismantle the, the false sense of security, you know, it's going to be work. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is, is a worker, okay? It's going to be work to remove all the things. Maybe it's all the things from the house or all the things from the business or all the uh, negative influences, right? It's going to be work. It is going to, you know, if you want wish fulfillment, you have to work for it. The Knight of Pentacles right over the Nine of Cups working towards wish fulfillment. You know, and it's going to be, it's going to, there's going to be a, um, upheaval and there's going to be chaos and it's going to be extreme. It may be extremely painful. If somebody may cry, you know, and throw a fit and use emotional blackmail and, you know, be hysterical, be very, very, you know, it may be hysterical, you know, when they find out that whoever it is, is uh, moving. I mean, the tower reversed is moving. You know, and that's part of the, you know, are you weak? Are you weak? Are you going to let your fear hold you back and keep you in a false sense of security because you're worried about what they're going to do? Is that, that's cowardly behavior. 
That's a cowardly behavior. If you're like, oh, well, this person has complete control over me. You know, I'm worried about what they're going to do. You know, if they leave, if I leave, you know, that's, that's weakness. That's, that's weakness. You've got to find your strength and your courage and your confidence and your willpower to let go and deal with any extreme behavior that comes along the way. If you want your wish fulfillment, because they're not just going to give it to you if you are not ready to put in the work. That's the Queen of Swords talking. Doesn't get any, just fell right out, flipped over in my hands. This is a union, it is a partnership. It's kind of like the lovers, right? This is, this is perfect. This is communicating, talking, uh, opening up. Falling in love, get I mean, these two people appear to have a deep connection, very comfortable with each other, see eye to eye. It's easy. I'm putting it right underneath the lovers, too. So, we definitely have a union here that is. It's a magnetic attraction of some sort. It's it's undeniable with that strength card reversed. It's like you can't you can't fight it. You can't fight it, right? I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to put in effort. I always got to wait my eyes. They're going to put, because the Knight of Pentacles is a worker. This is somebody that is steadfast, that has planned. Maybe they're, that's what they've been doing. Maybe they've been planning their escape from this false sense of security. I don't know. But the King of, the Knight of Pentacles is very uh, hardworking. Somebody that is in a position to... Well, skills. The Knight of Pentacles has skills. So he's using, or he or she is using their skills. They're being tested. Somebody is being tested. Their integrity is being tested. Santa Claus is watching this person. <laughs> Santa Claus is looking right up at the Knight of Pentacles now. You're being tested. Your, your integrity is being tested. Somebody's integrity is being tested. If they don't act with integrity, they're going to lose. They're going to lose their foundation. They're going to lose their... If they don't... If you don't act with integrity, you're going to lose your foundation. You're going to... You're going to lose your power. It's a, the fool... The fool reverse is a fall from power. It is. It's a fall from grace. It's a... It's a fall. It's a loss. Okay? And the tower is a loss. If you don't act with integrity... Santa Claus is watching. I don't... I can't remember the song. He knows if you're asleep. He knows if you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sakes. Knight of Pentacles. Looking right at it. And this is about integrity. The Knight of Pentacles is about integrity. It's about loyalty. It's about... Look at that. It's about integrity. It is. It's about being real. The All Pentacles is about reality. It's real. It's something real that you can hold and you can touch. Something solid. So, you know. Mm. And then we have the lovers and the two of cups. They're right together. So, they're both twos are about choices and so aren't the the lovers card. So this is a choice and it is a choice and I can see that it's a choice between two people. It feel it feels like it's a water sign and an air sign. Or somebody has a lot of water in their chart or a lot of air in their chart. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We also have Aries and Leo. We have everybody. So it doesn't really matter. But anyhow, we have Gemini as well with the Lover's card. Um, anyhow, this is a this is like falling in love. It's getting together. It's communicating. It's talking. It's deepening a bond. It's two people that I feel like it's falling in love. You know, eye to eye. 
you know, we got some kissing there, you know, talking, communicating, falling in love, getting together. Okay, we got these cards that just flipped over. Knight of Wands reverse, Ten of Cups, Death, Knight of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. So Knight of Wands reversed. There's been some sort of delay on happiness, Ten of Cups. Um, sudden arrival, there could be a sudden arrival. Um, we may also have the end of a relationship here. Somebody may be departing a relationship very, very suddenly. Death card is an ending that leads to a new beginning. Uh, Knight of Swords, I gotta go. I gotta go right now. This is somebody coming to the rescue, to this damsel in distress, right? Coming to the rescue. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles about stability, security, um, not wanting to let go, building security. Um, doesn't want to let go, wants a new life. So we do have a set, we have the end of one relationship and I don't know who it is with because death is next to the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a relationship, it is. And the Knight of Swords is very suddenly, it leads to a new life, it leads to a new beginning. And if you notice in this deck, it does make complete sense and this makes complete sense, okay? Because we got this, okay, that's the death of one relationship, okay? And I, that's like very sudden death, okay, of a relationship. And then the death card, which is an ending. And it's interesting in this card, okay? If you look at this card, we got this, this person coming in. You look down here in the hole, it looks like it's too late for this one. Okay, and this is your new beginning. So we do have the end. We have the end of one relationship and the beginning of another. Okay, we have this, this one person that has been waiting for it to be rescued. Here comes the protection. Here comes the hero. Okay, here, here this person. Here comes the hero. Suddenly, extremely suddenly, comes out of nowhere. The tower at, ver at reverse is also, you never saw it coming either. So this is an unexpected opportunity um, that you never saw coming. This person is, has been planning. They have been working hard. They've been uh, reluctant to make an approach, or they were maybe they were just working, or they were getting prepared. They were getting prepared in some way. Uh, here they come. Maybe they were getting their all their ducks in a row. You know. Um, that Four of Pentacles is about stability, though. It's all about stability and security. So there is a something stable. So that the Knight of Pentacles that is coming. This is real. It is solid. This is somebody that is loyal. That That is loyal. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is loyal. Okay? The Knight of Wands may not be, but uh, I guess there's room for change, right? Oh, now the Knight of Wands is upright. How'd that happen? I must have flipped it. Everything happens for a reason. Look at that. There could be some serious competition here as well. Okay, we got three nights. There could be some serious competition here. Act now, think later. We got a knight of pentacles, we got a knight of wands, and we got a knight of swords. Mmm. Somebody's coming in fast, really fast, extremely fast. This is somebody that knows what they want. This is, this is definitely a strong individual. This person has a burning desire for something stable, for something solid. Get prepared. I know if you can, you may not see it coming. Go 
good luck.